Lesson 6, Leisure Lines, Movable Clefts, and the Grand Staff. Note to send the treble staff, and when they get to the top, you can keep going by adding lines. These lines are called leisure lines. You can add leisure lines both above and below the staff. Previous to 100 years ago, musicians avoided using leisure lines. If using notes below the staff, they might place the clef higher, moving all the notes up accordingly. Or they might use a different clef. In this case, a C clef shows where C is between the two bumps. In modern usage, the C clef can be placed in different places on the staff. When it's on the third, third line, the middle line, it's called an alto clef, and this is played by the viola. When it's on the fourth line, it's called a tenor clef, sometimes played on the cello or the bassoon. In fact, these clefs are octave specific. The C clef identifies middle C. Middle C is a note, sounds here. Ta, it's comfortable to sing. It's high in the guy's range, low in the lady's range. The treble clef, the G clef, is higher than that. And it refers to this G, five notes higher than C. And it's mostly for the ladies and higher notes. The bass clef, the F clef, ta, refers to that F below C. If you notice, we could cover a lot of notes if we have the treble clef on top of the bass clef. And this is called the grand staff. It contains a treble clef for the higher notes and a bass clef for the lower notes. Between the treble and the bass is middle C. It can be thought of as one leisure line below the treble clef as well as one leisure line above the bass clef. Ascending up the bass clef, notes may go higher than C by passing into the treble clef, which is the same as if you use leisure lines above the bass clef. This diagram shows the four notes on the left are the same four notes as the ones on the right. Similarly, leisure lines below the treble clef are the same notes as those on top of the bass staff. We often want to use leisure lines rather than crossing staves, staves. So there's extra room placed between the staves. This note is middle C, whether it's shown in the bass clef or in the treble clef. It's the same note. The last item to cover in this lesson is transposed clefs. Some clefs have a little eight at the bottom, and that indicates that the notes are one octave lower. Tenors often sing using this clef, the treble clef, one octave lower. So they read it just like the ladies read it, but since they're guys, their notes are an octave lower than the ladies. For the video on the exercise, we will wait, um, I'll post that separately.